In this episode, you'll learn about your voice, the tool of your trade. I'm Keith, and in this series of online tutorials to help media professionals, including directors, editors, and videographers, to be able to deliver audio on a professional level. This video, we'll be talking to the voice artist, and we'll give you some tips on how to train your voice for any type of job that may come your way. It'll give directors and producers some ideas on how to get the best from your artist that you've just employed for your voiceover. The carpenter has the tools of his trade. He has his chisels and the other tools, and each has a specific job. The chisels have to be sharp, and the tools have to be in their best condition, otherwise you end up with a botched job. It's the same for the voice. You need to be able to read in various manners and in different areas, and be able to switch from one to the other quickly. That's what a voice artist is required to do on a professional setting. You need to be able to read aloud. Practice reading all sorts, technical brochures, Seamus Heaney, Shakespeare, kids books, even some doctors use for those fabulous tongue twisters, but all out loud. Reading to a mirror is also a good idea because the reflection comes straight back to you. Though I would suggest that you do concentrate on what the mechanics of your voice are doing. It's called being proprioceptive, being aware of what your body is doing in space and how each part of that plays in that space. Record and listen back to what you read. Listen to how you read the phrases. Can you hit a different word in the sentence to change the emphasis? Play with what you're reading. Changing the emphasis of any sentence structure can change the meaning of the whole message. Listen to the rhythm of what you're reading. The rhythm structure of the sentence. Can you pick out a tempo from that rhythm of what you're reading? Reading poetry will always train your eye and your ear as to the words in front of you and what they are doing. It'll help the understanding for the listener. Like any artist, you need to command the tools of your trade. And you'll only do that by three things, three very important things. Practice, practice, and guess what? Practice. Warm the pipes before doing any sort of job. Exercise the throat, the jaw muscles, the tongue. And after practicing the previous tips, you should have a routine that works for you. That routine can help get the mechanics of the voice to be able to tackle any script. Though unfortunately, these tips are no help when it comes to performing a really badly written script. Ouch. You can find an array of exercises for your throat, tongue, lips, jaw on YouTube. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. Find the routine that's good for you and use it. I'm Keith Alexander and you've been watching Adorama TV. Don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV for more great videos. Tell us what you think. You can like, comment, or share this video, and please come by the Adorama Learning Center for more information and great advice.